What is the goalie doing? What is he doing? What is going on guys? It is JJ here back with a new video today because obviously we are, you know, inside, we're quarantined, we're enjoying ourselves, we're living our best life, uh, you know, sitting here, drinking coffee, relaxing, and today we're going to bring to you, I think, a different video in general uh, because Honestly, I've, I've gotten a lot of love lately from the Olympiacos fans in general from the Arsenal performance uh, And it got me thinking what is like the best moment for not only Olympiacos or for Pauk or for, for Aris Thessaloniki I think it's how you say it. Uh, but what is the best moment for Greek football and it is none other than Euro 2004 now obviously this video is gonna be a little hard to do because uh, UEFA might go back into the archive stuff and, and block some of the video so there may be some blurs on some of the video here and there but we're gonna take a look at Euro 2004 I was only seven years old at the time so I don't remember it at all I think I started watching football vehemently in about 2007 2006 so I missed some of the action but we're gonna take a look at Euro 2004 and see the glorious triumph of Greek football. Now, obviously, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below, but let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. The Greek fans going crazy. I cannot imagine the scenes. I love, how they, I love how they always are determined to bring flares into the stadium. Like, it's a hands down. You know that they're going to do it. The triumph. The final against Portugal. Wait, what? just ruined Portugal like that. I'm trying to remember who also was on this Portugal team. So I'm trying to think. Luis Figo, Deco, Young Ronaldo. Who else was on this team? Why can I remember no more Portuguese superstars? God, I feel like an idiot for not remembering more of them, but this goal is bit that's a look how far out he is and just says screw it. Have one son. Have one. Alright. Alright. That's beautiful. Oh wow. There's no way this is is this the final? Is this the final like they're destroying Portugal that that bad? No, it wasn't the final. Okay, this is the group stage. It's the group stage. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, so this is this is the entirety of the group stage, so what is it? Let, let's let's go back. Let's go back for a sec. Just just for a little sec. So, they kicked off the tournament by facing Portugal. Who else was in the group? So Portugal. They got the win over Portugal, obviously. Beautiful 2 0 win. Dominated. It seems like they just absolutely dominated. Bumbled over him. That that was an idiotic penalty. And then that this is a change. Is that Spain? Was that so so Portugal, the Portugal, Spain, and then I don't know who this team is. In the white and blue. Is that Finland? Maybe? Is it is that fin Finland? Not Denmark. I don't know who the third team is, but we're gonna go with it. So they got they did good in the group. Go to the quarterfinal against France, who already won fucking what is it? They won the 1990. They won the other version of the Euros before this. Oh, good hit. Great hit. So this is a Don type of Euro France, and it's a beautiful freaking header that ends them. That's all it took was the quarterfinal victory over. How do you knock out the team that would make the World Cup final in, in 2006? They had won the Euros in 2000 and they won the World Cup in 1998. And you knocked them out in the quarterfinals of the 2004 Euros. Honestly, that's it. I'm for it. I'm, I'm there for it. Oh. This green team is so dope. The defense, the goalkeeper is amazing. The goalkeeper for Greece is great. Oh no! no what? Is, well, actually, you know what? That's a banging. That is an absolutely banging save. To save it from this distance. Why? 
Oh my lord, that's the type of goal. In extra time, that's the goal of the semi-finals versus the Czech Republic. It kind of sucks that, you know, you end up against the team that you face in the group stage, but if Euro, if the Euro 2020 still ends up going on, one of the teams from that group of death, whether it's Portugal, Germany, or France, they all might end up making the final. Who knows? That's going to be an amazing group. The young Ronaldo. Good save. Corner! Go on, son! Go on, look at the limbs! The limbs! What is the goalie doing? What is he doing? He... That's the most idiotic thing I've ever seen a goalkeeper do! What is he thinking? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Okay, we, just, we, need, to, we need to backtrack, because I'm so confused at what the goalkeeper here was thinking. He just... Beautiful freaking header. But I don't understand what the goalie's doing. He leaves his own net. Runs out. Gets caught on the wrong grease player. And the goal goes in. My goodness. Wow. Yeah, just boot it. Just boot it. And the, the victory is there. It's over. Greece have performed the unbelievable. Oh, uh, yo, no. Not the young Ronaldo. Young Ronaldo, he'll never win a Euro now. No way. That is beautiful. That trophy is beautiful. This video is so, so old, too. It, it feels so weird. Oh, we're going to get to see fan reactions, too. This is after beating the Czech Republic. Of course, of course, go crazy in the streets. That is the epitome of, of what I consider a fan of football, right? There, that's my freaking G. Look at the, the gut and everything hanging out. I love it. I absolutely love it. The scenes, the players, the Greek flags. This is after the semi-final victory, too. This isn't even after the final. They just made the final. Wow. Wow. This is Bill. I'm, I'm so for this. What the hell is he doing? Why is he around a bunch of swords? Firework for the semi final victory? This has to be just for the final victory. Look how many. Look. Okay, that's dangerous as hell. There's so many people on, on one freaking pole. <laughs> that image was sick! This. That's the celebrations we love to see. That was like, that's just nuts! Honestly, I think, I think what captivates this video most of all, is this right here. This, that moment. I, I guess I should back, yes. After this save, this moment where the final whistle goes and it's finally over. It is finally, finally over. Everything Greece has done up to this point, the most unlikely of championship runs. It's, it's over, it's done. It's finally taken care of. Zagorakis lift the trophy. Everything's going. The, the players are ch oh. It's that moment. That moment for me is what just kind of sells it. It's just like, 
that relief. It's finally over. We've done it. We have finally achieved the dream. No longer the underdogs. We are now in history forever. And Greece really what it really was historic, as you could tell by the freaking celebrations. That that right there. This is freaking dope. And that was if this was just after the semi-final, I cannot imagine what Greece was like after the final. But I was only seven, so I, I obviously didn't get to experience it, but the love for the game is still there. It always will be. Uh, and I can tell literally just by the way that the fans are still in Greece. So you guys got to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this. Was this the greatest moment of football for, for Greece uh, and for the Greeks in general? Uh, Euro 2004. Beautiful. And I, I wish your 2020 was still going to go on. Not sure. But obviously, you guys got to let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below because this is amazing. It's absolutely captivating. Uh, thank you guys once again. And peace.